So, as a thank you to Weston for getting me on my first Texas Bass, I give you guys an exclusive. What's up, gang? Welcome back. We are rolling up to Guggen HQ. We're grabbing some new Guggen rods, man. I think the full lineup. We've been missing a couple, and so we are going to grab some greens and golds today. We got an updated rod and reel arsenal coming your way very soon, so subscribe with notifications on if you ain't already. But today, kayak fishing is on the agenda. I got him towed right behind us, and we're meeting up with Maddie B. That's right, Maddie behind the scenes. Handles a lot of the goods for the Guggen squad, and we're going to go ahead and try and get on some fish today. Add a nice little, uh, kayak spot we know of down the street so let me grab these things right here get some new sticks we're gonna rig a handful up and we're gonna get out on the water try and catch some of these bass for y'all so stay tuned all right man we are stoked we just left the warehouse sorry i didn't show you any behind the scenes there's a lot of folks shopping in there i didn't want to get in people's way but i grabbed the goodies we literally have the complete lineup now we have one green and one gold series rod of every series i'm talking about the muscle reaction go to finesse and Twitch, you guys. So we've completed it. Now that we've got everything, you can look forward to some comparison videos on the greens versus golds in each series, as well as just full-time use with each rod. I am now headed to meet Maddie B and hit the pond. I'll see you guys at the water. All right, so I'm just unboxing some of these. Check it out, dude. I am so stoked. I've been throwing around a lot of the early prototypes, as well as some of those Powell rods you guys have seen us use for a long time. Just because I haven't had access to the full lineup, I haven't thrown any of the green rods on casting setups yet. And I got a gold spinning, so that's gonna be new, a gold finesse rod. And I did realize something different with the packaging. When you get these gold rods, there is a layer of film protecting the cork. And on the green rods, they come without like a, uh, a layer of film. So one less thing to unpack. I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of these set up and we're gonna hit the water. We're here! Whew. All right, man, the acts are geared up. They uh, messed up our launch ramp here, so we had to take the long route. We got the batteries for the kayaks though. We're gonna get these autopilots out here, hopefully spot lock on the juice. It's pretty windy, but luckily with these, we're not trying to paddle upstream in it. And we met a little friend. At least we think he's friendly. He's pretty friendly to me. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get launched and try and get on these fish, man. We got a couple hours before they lock this place up. Let's get on the water. We are geared up. We don't have all the time in the world today, so I uh, left quite a few of those rods I showcased in the truck and I'm just rigging up one of them. It's gonna be the reaction rod with the bait I did pretty well out here on the last visit. So we'll get a chance to use a little bit of the new goods and then look forward to the new rod and reel arsenal coming very soon and I'll really showcase all of them, explain their differences. I gotta do some things like show Maddie B how to work this kayak over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Student driver. Student driver. It's second time kayak fishing and it's gonna be on the creme de la creme, man. The auto pilot with spot lock. I think he's gonna have a blast. So anyways, let's wrap this up and start catching some fish. And you can adjust those pedals too, but you'll figure it out. Oh yeah, you're good. Get out there a little ways, then you can hit spot lock and get comfortable. Like this left and right with the feet. Yeah, the left and right with the feet is killer. And you can adjust those pedals just by kind of, there's like a button you press and you slide them out a little bit if you need to. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's nuts. You'll be telling the guys, why the f haven't we ordered a couple of these? Let's go ahead and start with the reaction rod. So once you get comfortable, you probably won't even want to sit down. That's the drag, drag's tight. Haven't used this reel in a while. And we have got it on the reaction, baby, with the fish finder, the red lipless. There we go, first one on. Nice. Breaking in the reaction rod. Woo! Got a little one. Good way to start the day, though. On the uh, red lipless and the green series. First one, reaction rod. Since we got the tape measure, let's just act a fool real quick. I mean, he is a solid 10 incher right there. He's going for like 11. We're looking for uh, double that length today. Let's go for double. Matt said he spooked one close to the reed, so I'm going to cast a little bit closer to him and uh, see if I can draw one out if they do happen to be taking cover in there. Little guy again, what's going on, baby? Little bluegill bait. All right, all right. Fish number two, hitting the baby bullgill that we got like a big three and a half pounder at the pond last night. Matt is still yet to cut the first fish, I believe, but he is gonna be on soon. Hopefully with something bigger than I'm getting, I gotta make a quick Instagram story to show off the size here, and then I'm gonna get right back in the water. 
Gang, fish number two coming in at a hot 10 and a half pounds. My first ever double digit. I cannot wait for this video to come out. Be looking out. Had to get that release on Instagram. Don't forget to follow us over there. Let's go for fish number three. Oh, Matt's on. He says it's good. Nice. <laughs> All righty then. Y'all, Matty B just linked up with his first ever Texas bass. Check this thing out. It ain't half bad. Got a little belly on her. Gotta, gotta tell you, fishing in February for a Wisconsin boy like me doesn't get any better than this. I'm used to having to just dangle it through a little hole in the ice. This is, uh, this is a lot better. <laughs> so I appreciate you for taking me out. Hey, dude. It's all about the good times. Let's go ahead and get on some more. I can't wait to see him catch a five plus on that zinger. He's throwing the zinger, by the way, you guys. There is more fish to be caught. I think we're at three right now total. Let's keep it going. Sick. No way, he's on again. <laughs> Matty B with number two in less than five minutes. I mean, we just put the camera away. I came over here to give him some space and bam. This one's got five. No way, dude. Five. He's got another one next cast. <laughs> he said it's big. <laughs> this man is on a mission. I'm tying on a clickbait. No way, dude. Fish number three just smoked it. <laughs> Dope skis. Okay, I'm tying on a clickbait or a zinger. Yeah. God dang. He's showing me up at my own spot. <laughs> and you're throwing that bluegill color, right? What do we got over here? I think I have exactly what I need. Oh, baby. Ooh, it's about to do some work. Half ounce, and he's on again. This man is on a mission. Jeez, dude. Got a little shoulders. What the heck, man? <laughs> he's got the skills to pay the bills. Did I catch two or three? I think I've only caught two. You're at four, I'm at two. Y'all? Matty B's about to put this one on the scale. It could go for three. He's on four or five fish already. The man is on fire and uh, yeah, he's throwing the zinger that's getting things done. I can't even get my clickbait tied on without coming over here to get the camera and the scale ready for him. So let's see what this guy goes for. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got a three six on the scale. Three six dude. Okay. Almost Got a little three, gut. Three, looking at three seven dude. Okay. Three and a half pounder. That'll do it. You know what that means? We got to get a four or a five to top things. That is a big bass for just coming out here last minute before sunset. I'm gonna leave you with the scale since you're on them. I'll leave you with the scale. You do your thing. I'll be over here catching the dinks. I feel like that's just some reverse psychology. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he, he who has the scale in his boat catches the smaller fish, I guess, so far has been the, the takeaway. <laughs> I gotta get this clickbait tied on. I'll tell you folks, it's every cast. Weston Smith over here, just the dream guide. Got this one on the old Guggen scale, three seven. And they are on fire, folks. I can't even tie on my freaking bait and he's showing me what to use. I don't even know why I'm keep going over there. I need to stay by you. All right, let's see if I can remember how to tie a knot. If you pull like a six out of there or something somehow, I'm just going to be in disbelief. <laughs> About time you catch a small one. <laughs> I think that's six for you. You're up there. We're like, hopefully we get 10 fish. Here we are. As soon as we found the bite, we're eight in at the moment. Total. I I'm not contributing really. So <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This one's, oh God, he came up and hit it like a top water. This one's gold. Oh, he came up and hit it like a top water. <laughs> oh, that's my biggest. Oh yeah. That was so sick, dude. He, he just came up and boom. He, he might go for three, but I think probably like two and a half is a safe bet. All right, well, got us something half decent. There we go. Click bait to the rescue. Slow rolling it and right by like this almost down tree. So sick. I switched it up because I was rocking the treble hook baits and I could have continued to use it, but there's so much stuff to get stuck on that a single hook bait is working a little bit better. And with that thicker gauge hook, I also switched over to the muscle rod. That way I can really smack those hook sets because it is that thicker gauge you want to really be able to penetrate. And so there you have it. First, uh, wait, this guy's not as big as I thought. Anyways, it's my biggest one of the day so far, y'all. I think we're at nine fish total. Let's not stop here. Going for 10. See you, bud. Number 10, baby, number 10. The slow rolling, the spinnerbait over here in the shallow water. They're feeding on chat or something up there. So awesome, man. There goes the 10th fish of the day so far. We've been out maybe 45 minutes. We're having a blast. Line's back in the water, y'all. Let's not slow this thing down. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> Way out in the back 40. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got another on the clickbait, y'all. That means this is my most productive bait of the day so far. I think this is fish number four for myself. We are at, uh, we're almost in the teens total. I think we're up to 11 fish. I'm gonna get Young Buck back in the water. We might call it pretty soon because it's gonna be getting dark here pretty quick. Let's see if we get one or two more though before we call it quits. All right, y'all, we have got everything loaded up and it did take a minute. We had to walk much further than usual to get these things launched today. They got some dirt work going on over here and let me tell you what. You can't get close to the ramp. So we're going to lock these things up, but we got a little Guggen Squad exclusive for you guys. Matty B's going to tell you more about, but I just want to uh, thank him for joining me today. We got him on his first Texas bass. He was rocking the autopilots, having some fun. So as a thank you to Weston for getting me on my first Texas bass, I give you guys an exclusive. We got the Dangler collection. I'm going to send these to Weston so you can get them on the screen. Woo! But we got the Dangler apparel coming the third week of March to the GuggenSquad.com website. My team Guggen members get after this stuff. And another design here. We got the cowboy oh. riding the bass, just letting it dangle. <laughs> That's so, so we got a whole Western Dangler collection, third week of March, get after it. And that about wraps up you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on today's kayak excursion. We had a blast and we look forward to seeing you on the next one, man. Peace out. <gasps>